next to the book department. Oh, that's where the porter is kept. Oh. Say, this room on the right looks over things in. It's not no one looking. Oh, that's for us. Come on, please. Seems to be some sort of storage. Who's that? Customers aren't allowed in here. Oh, oh it's you, Mr. Diamond. Uh, yes, uh, you're Kildor, the window decorator, aren't you? That's right. I'm getting things ready to change the windows now. Heavens, are you going to use all these dummies in the windows? Now? Yes, miss. I planned a party motif uh, to display the various costumes. Oh, it could work out better. Well, this first group of dummies is for the cocktail party window. Got him. Uh, that group over there. <laughs> we. There we go. Well, first I take off my shoes and put on these woolen socks. That's so I won't leave any marks in the rug. Okay. One of the side windows opens right off this room. So I address that one first. I'll see that where I can get started before the store opens. <laughs> what the? I, I completely had a brain fart. Wow, I question my employees. What for? If Grady's death was accidental, it must be proved so to the satisfaction of the police department. Oh. Well, naturally I want everything to be cleared up properly, but look here. I had a complete dumbass moment. Out of a perfectly natural accident. I have some influence in the Are you better take care of your own business, Mr. Khan, and I'll take care of mine. Now give us ten minutes more here. All right. Not that I don't want to cooperate in every way possible, but as far as I can see, there's no need for salon investigation. In other words, in fact, we must have a little thing like murder to interfere with Mr. Conner. Now, wait a minute, Jim. Don't jump to any conclusion. Now, why couldn't the radio call him back? Grading gates may look old fashioned, but they lock and unlock automatically from the inside. And Grady would hardly have pried this door open in order to fall down the shaft accidentally. No, I admit you've got something there, Jim. But what do you suppose did happen? Grady was killed or stunned by a blow on some other floor. And brought here to the city. Blair. Thank you. I was quest I discovered that shopping for food in a busy department store is practically impossible, friend. It's almost closing time. Should we call it a day? No, let's finish our examination here on the main floor. Hey, okay. Jim, see that little room next to the book department? Oh, that's where the thought is kept. Oh. Hey, this room on the right looks over things in. It's not no one looking. Oh, that's for us. Come on, please. Seems to be some sort of storage room. Yes, uh, you're the Did Daniel not give you some of Look around. 
After I died to that one, I'm my own stupidity. Give me a second where Travel with another. I spend so long scouting on my own that I forget what human company is like. This will include all who checked out early. Those who were absent. Oh, it's gotta be up there. Deeper in the cave now.
Got him. Up we go. But the ones you know were O'Brien, the store detective, Mabel Donnie, who discovered the body, Kilgore, the window decorator, and Shelvin in the jewelry department. And don't forget Mr. Khan himself. He doesn't have to check in and out of the store. I'm not forgetting him, Inspector. He's on my list. Well, well, what do we do now? First, we walk inside the store, just like two ordinary customers. Then we make a very unusual experiment. Okay, go there here. Ow. Keep bumping my head on the ceiling here. That all of it? One of those window shoppers is giving your suit the once over. So after I finished questioning Mabel last night, I decided to sort of play. Okay. Where am I going? My, you look nasty. <laughs> we saw you, young lady, and I might add that wasn't part of your assignment. My nose ring. But I wouldn't have missed it for anything. Well, what did you find out from Mabel, Fern? Well, Inspector, she knows all of the diamond fittings are defective, and she has a terrible crush on Mr. Kilgore, the window. Oh, that's there. no help. Now, look here, Jim. We'll move too slow on this case. Inside job or outside job, I've got to find the man that murdered Greg and find him quick. Get that murder all right, Inspector, but it may take a few days. A few days? Have you seen the morning papers? Why, one of them went so far as to print my picture and caption it the police department dummy. I've got to make an arrest in this case within the next 24 hours, Jim. All right. Okay. I promise you that by 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, you can make an arrest, Inspector. You, you know who the murderer is? Arrest the murderer. Oh, stop talking in circles, Jim. What do you mean? Well, I know who the murderer's accomplice is. And since you're so desperate to make an arrest, I'll deliver him. And it's up to you to make him talk. God damn, just... just aim straight down with a 50 cal. That is just dirty. Here comes Mr. Khan now, Inspector. Uh, I hope you know what you're doing, Jim. Uh, good morning, Brandon. Inspector? Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Mr. Khan, we're going to make an arrest here. What? I sent for you because we want to handle things as quietly as possible. Arrest? Who? Roger Kilgore, your window decorator. Well, you must be mistaken, Brandon. Kilgore, Kilgore was implicated in Grady's death. One of his windows was deliberately arranged so that someone could hide in it without attracting attention on the outside. And okay, give me that. Was it Kilgore? Then Kilgore knows who it was. Bring Kilgore in here, Mr. Khan. Well, I'm afraid I can't. Kilgore didn't show up for work this morning. What? He's 
to Fireball. Come on, Inspector. We've got some work to do. All right. And bop. Now that we're out of the store, Jim, would you mind telling me where we're going? We're going to drive out to Kilgore's home, Inspector. I don't like the look of my cars are on the side here. Wait a minute. Take a look in that second window, Inspector. What? Why, Kilgore. He's sitting on that bench where I was the other night. He has some nerve sitting there in the daytime. Come back inside, quick! What? Oh. This is the only sure path from the Narrows to Pine Creek. They will be cut to ribbons by these traps. Let's take care of it then. As you say. You mean the arrival of the diamond? Yes. I think the plan to steal the diamond furnished the motive for both murders. Grady evidently discovered something in connection with it and was killed before he had a chance to reveal what he knew. But who? Why should the murderer stay in the store at night before the diamonds arrive? In order to make preparations for the theft. Tis good to travel with another. Were, I, I spend so long yeah, scouting on my own that I forget what human company is like. Human company can be fun. Oh, hey. Also in that case, there's the burglar alarm to consider. No... Our criminal is much too clever to employ such obvious right. tactics, Fern. But why should Khan want to steal his own diamonds? They're heavily insured. I think there's... Jim, Sheldon hasn't been absent or checked out early since the day of Grady's death. So how can you leave me no choice? Mm, I'll admit that stuff is tough. What? You leave me no choice. Oh, come on, Fern. We're going back to the store. And this time we're going to... Oh, oh boy. Yeah. Business. I am glad it's over. Hey, I almost got another level up. I did. Okay. So if I max that out, I can get my bard up to 80. That's it, Fern. I've got it. What, the book? No, the solution to this whole grim affair. Oh, at last. Fern, Khan's department store is going to have an extra watchman tonight. Mm. This is a job for the Avenger. Junk round. Hmm. Let's get Stacy out of the way. We've got half an hour before the watchman and O'Brien come down here again. Do that in this case, Inspector. Who's there? It's the Avenger, Sheldon. Avenger. What are we thinking? Here to close your department of death and bring you to justice for the crimes you've committed. How did you get in here? Your crimes invited me. I can't kill you, Avenger. What was it, cowboy? I can find you. There in the corner, Avenger. I'll get you all right. Mm. An invisible target is no target at all, Sheldon. Keep having fun. I'll all right. Take it easy. You're missing badly. Do I cut you up? Now you're harmless. Your gun is empty, Sheldon. What's going on here? Sheldon, it's you. O'Brien, arrest Sheldon. I think you know the charges. 
Strung back. I think it was Packrat. Yes. Packrat, and my next one will be Heavyweight. So we'll go from North Folk, just because getting back up there is probably going to be an absolute pain in the ass. Uh, you know, no, fuck it. We'll just run, walk there. But I will be right back. I just need to use the washroom quickly. I have a time. Alright. So. The Avenger. I'll just soon see what the hell this is. God damn it. Eh, screw it. Father's the ways. Perhaps when you leave, you will carry his word. Possibly. Room, 
of the cellar the renowned mystic Sidney. Opposite her, a man leans forward, nervous and expectant. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a swirling cloud of white mist appears. Hey, Jake. There we go. I have incendiary route. Martha, Martha, don't leave me. Come back. Martha. I have a total of seventy three explosive. Wake up. I'm I'm literally not gonna waste explosive rounds on a goddamn rat. Fucking Kaza doors. Wow, did I just... Perhaps the princess 
Well, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you at the seance. Right, I'm looking forward to it. I can find my way out. Thanks for the interview. Not at all. And Goodbye. items. Trying to offer you a dark skin. Just a minute. I don't see how you cut your time. Friend, Jordan is paying for big stakes. And he's not the sort to leave any stone unturned. Those tents down there. That is a white leg war camp. Do you see the war totems they've erected around the tents? White leg warriors pray to them for strength and savagery before battle. This is no raiding band. So the totems are sacred to them somehow? Good to know. Yes. If their war totems were to disappear, they would likely lose the will to fight. Yeah, let's go down there and take care of business. I will follow your command, but I advise caution if it is possible. I don't believe in ghosts, but I would. <laughs> you like to see one, huh? Well, yes, I'd like to see what passes for a ghost. All right, then. But in the meantime, we have a great deal of research to do. What kind of research? Okay, how close are we? All the tricks that mediums use, all the accoutrements that the earthly ghost is heir. Ow. Bearing horns and trumpets, the moving tables, and the. I literally wiped out that entire camp with one explosive fucking. We pass like moonlight on This seance will be a kind of challenge. Mm -hmm. And we can't let science get the back seat. Hello. Brandon? I'll fight you if I must. Nothing unusual there. You don't mind a friend and I can't. Well, if you're not willing to take our word for it. I got him. Perhaps you might find peace if you stay. Here they are. Messy business. I am glad. I'll fight you if I must. Jim, there's no place to hide any ghosts in this room. Ooh, you have a shish kebab. Gimme, 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 gimme. I want it. You okay? Nothing. Did I get everyone already? Yeah. Oh, another shish kebab. Oh, it's in Morning Glory Cave. Jim, this is more than I bargained for. Brandon, strong. Help me get on this end of the room first. Let me save quick. That was the strangest thing I ever saw. A truly wonderful performance. What, you did? Well, fellow scientists, what are we going to do? If we can't explain this manifestation, we have to award the prize to Princess Stella. Not so fast, Strong. Well, what do you suggest? Come the yellow we know. with you. What do you think, Brandon? There's no denial. Mm. It's and it's up to us to explain exactly what it was and where it came from. I think we better call mm. for a repeat performance. Oh, you, you had another shish kebab. I don't like to linger in this. We're not convinced, Jordan. We're calling for another seance. No, no, I cannot. Place. I am exhausted. I uh, items. Princess, the judges are giving me right. In terms of the will stipulate, two tests may be demanded. Oh, I think I cannot go through all this again. Our gentleman, the princess, is nervous and upset. So could we postpone the second seance until tomorrow? Well, I don't see it not. Hey, Seelzebub. Welcome in. You're you doing well. Something that may prove helpful to you. I'll be 
need a little time to check on it. Uh, we'll move right, tomorrow. should just be yes. right over However, here. I'd like to speak to you privately for a few moments. Now, Miss Curtis, come into the other room. This way. I'm good. How's Yihang going? Doing good. We are in the Honest Hearts deals. Oh. Actually. If something of mine will help you, take it. I hope you would do the same for me. Something about these two reminded me of it. Well, the princess and I are not exactly bored of anything together. I wonder what became of that act. You know, yeah. Stick with it. Really, Professor, what can that have to do with Princess Stella and the Rollins Prize money? It may have everything to do with it, Jordan. I'm rather certain that... I'm literally, yeah, it is literally yeehaw chuckle fucks. I played this game, got it on discount for a dollar, played Sniper Stealth Build. Uh, I'm playing more, uh, heavy, heavy speech. Oh, fuck, there he is again. Hi, Nightmare Fuel. Here they are. What? Oh. Got him. I've got, uh, yeah. I've got, uh, this bad boy. Place. It belongs to the father in the caves. We must not profane it with our touch. What are you talking about? The father in the caves. The holy father who gave the sorrows his succor and gave the new Canaanites his son. Many of the caves around the valley are sacred to him, and those who would trespass are punished by holy wrath. I understand that. I understand. I'll respect your beliefs then, but we need to search the cave. I understand. I follow one. I must say my people follow. Possible, follow three. I must save my father. Must save my son. Follow New Vegas. Revenge. That's no, follow New Vegas. Who shot me in the fucking head? I was thinking about actually playing Fallout 4 after this. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I don't know. You leave me no choice. Tribal's father of the cave. Save it. Talk about the Fallout 2 pro tag. I am not sure that could I don't know if that's a fan theory or if that's canon but that'd be fucking cool because I've never played any of the old old Fallout games You don't seem much surprised by the plants. I was visibly shook when I saw them first, and I was like, well, I ran into them before. It, like, here and uh, in uh, the, the overgrown vault. Ow.
So I, that's why I wasn't shocked. It's like, oh yeah, I've seen those. Daniel says that it is holy in the eyes of the father. I hope someday you will see it as it was. There, all right. Keep your hands joined, everyone. I'll turn on the light. Hurry, Brandon, it's already disappearing. It's gone. He must have us again. He must have fainted. Okay, Brandon. If not, if you don't touch him strong. Why not? Look closer. There's a small dagger below his heart. Professor Gans is dead. Oh. Disarm that. Oh, shit. May I tell you about a cool armor set? Absolutely. I will. I am currently rocking the, uh, some uh, power armor, but I will always. Else is around here. That's easy. Princess Stella is an accomplished ventriloquist. There goes my ghost story right up the chimney. Oh, uh, gimme, gimme. I don't want any of this revealed until we know who it again. But I don't see how we're ever going to find that out. At the moment, neither do I. But we'll keep trying. It's Desert Ranger Army that's hard, but it's green and you can wear it with the being affiliated. Oh, nice. Terminal. Well, turn, get your coat. We're going to the gymnasium. Whatever for, Jim. I'm interested in seeing a little professional boxing. I've often heard those French cravat boxes are something to see. Stella, what are you doing? I'm packing, Jordan. I'm going to pull out. Don't be a fool, Stella. Okay. You've got to stay here. Okay, did I get the thing I was looking for? Yep. Okay. Okay. Oh, 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 he ordered the white legs to soak the earth so nothing could grow again. What kind of monster could do that? Did he say? No. What are you talking about, Jordan? You wouldn't have. Don't worry about what Brandon knows. All right, hang on, let me just save quick. Right. Where are you, Daniel? Hey. I'm glad to see you're still with us. How can I help you? I checked on everything about it. I got your map with the grand staircase. I appreciate it. Well, that's it. This is all we need. Now all that's left is to quietly pack up and try to get out of here without being noticed. That's assuming that Joshua won't try to stop me. And that he hasn't talked you into fighting the white legs. He has talked me into it. Don't worry, I don't hold it against you. You're a an outsider. Fighting seems like the practical solution. I'll tell you again. There's more at stake. Okay. When is I borrowed? Uh, okay. I think Joshua's right. We should fight the white legs. I need to think about this. Even our Lord. Close the door, Ben, and the best 
Oh, okay, in the Sorrows Cave, there's a place called Stonebones Cave. You can find it there. Be mindful not to get blown up. Alright. I've got 17 skill points. So if I do that to 85 and tag it. And 65. Can you tell I don't use explosives or melee? Okay. Now the so in this called Stone Bones Cave. Okay. Well, good thing I'm literally right here. Hey, Seals above, you know where it is. Just let me know. I'll happily go to it. So am I nearby it, Seelzebub? Uh, throw, throw it in chat. I can check it in like five seconds. Because all, all I need to see is where on the map it shows it. Or if you are you part of the Discord sales above? Okay, so it's basically just north where I am. Okay, that's all I needed to see. But is it up or down? I'm not, but I will join the Discord. Ah, well, thank you. I just found that's the easiest way to uh uh basically pass info back and forth. Oh. I know what I need to do. That most people outside the valley do not keep to the father's ways. Perhaps when you leave you will carry his word with you. Demonstrated my theory of how the crime was committed without moving the upper part of his body at all. Jim, just what was it the professor Gans knew about Princess Stella and George? That's White Bird's cave. That's Crossroad Cavern. Oh, so it's 
So I got to get over there. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, I believe it's uh The Avenger. A road to crime. Okay, it's Crossroads Cavern. Crime does not pay. That's glass chime. So by Ah, there we go. Stone Bones Cave, there it is. And be careful not to get blown up, you said. Okay. Oof. Well, first thing I'm gonna save. Aha. Uh -huh. I thought I got them. God damn it. What was this like a moonshine? Fly away. You have no future. Listen oh. here, I have a right to know what you're raving about. Fly away, Dutto. Get out. Baldo, Baldo. Come quick. Try to disperse one from the gypsy camp. All right, I'll go. To travel with this another. Sort of thing is outrageous. I spend so long scouting on my own go. that I forget what human I'll company is like. You have no future. Out of my sight, Dutto. Go, go. You have okay. no future. Okay. Okay, that's way out. Okay, and we gotta go down and to the right then. Climb in the car quick, Casper. It's dripping wet. Yeah, thanks, Tom. Let's get out of here. Okay. Like a leaf. What's the matter? Car driving no, I... I know, I'm being very careful. Well, what is it? I took what you said to heart. Oh, that's nothing to get so upset about, Casper. 
will probably her stock way of getting rid of customers after she gets her money. Yeah, that's what I would have thought too. Except she mm. didn't take my money. She didn't take your money. No, she threw it away from her as though it had a plague on it. Then she started shouting that I had no future. Oh, don't take it so seriously, Catherine. All this fortune telling is a bunk anyway. You surprised you ever bothered driving out here over this muddy country road in this weather? No, business worry can drive a man to any extreme, Tom. Oh. I am worried. Look, Casper, you're on the very threshold of a million dollars. That C3 M you've invented will revolutionize the whole industry. Take it easy. Oh, there it is. Make a legion of enemies from me. Be careful, Tom. Tom, you almost went off the road there. The cliff drops sheer all along here. Yeah, it's raining. One, eight, two. Muddy roads are slippery as glass. Eight, five. I'm nervous if that happens to this. Ah, good dinner will fix you up, Casper. We're coming to the summit of the hill now. It won't be so bad from here. Hell yeah. Not very protective. No, that's still extremely protective. If I get it repaired, it's going to be equivalent to my power armor. Yeah, I just, once I get it repaired, never hurts to have backup power armors. Yeah, well, considering Vanessa, uh, not Vanessa, Veronica is in some crazy ass power armor right now. Uh, unfortunately, I have to wear this right now because if I don't, I can't use uh, my uh, sniper rifle unless I get one more point in intense training or if I take the perk that requires lower strength requirements by two for weapons. Welcome back. What can I do for you? What do you know of salt upon wounds? He's a butcher. Believe me. A I unique NCR rifle. Oh, cool. His heart. I've been burned by it myself. He's not the kind to let his subordinates do all the killing. No. He likes to have a hand in it. With that spear of his. He's fashioned himself an abomination before the eyes of the Lord. I'm happy to serve as an instrument of divine justice. I have some gear that needs repair. Let me have. I want to take a look around. Uh. Come on, Fern. What are you looking for, Dickie? The tires on that car were badly ripped. I wonder if that happened before the car went over or when it crashed. Well, let's see if we can find anything. The rain seems to have done a good job of covering up hmm. the traces of the skidding. Hmm, the mud's too deep to do much walking. Do you have anything to trade? There's not a trace of a clue. Here. Okay, I don't need that. Oh. Yeah, I took all those ammo last time. Look, Jim, there's a fork in the road up ahead. Yeah, and there's a mailbox too. I <sighs> Oh, I think you're making a mountain out of a molehill, Jim. This is just a relatively rough 
It's not something I enjoy, but I pray to God that someone may learn from my mistakes. What would you like to know? Are you in much pain? Is there anything I can do to help? You are kind to offer, but no, there's nothing you can do. We don't use cams, but I learned long ago that I'm immune to their effects. How? It never stops burning. My skin. Every day I have to unwind the bandages and replace them with fresh ones. Ah! Exposing my body to the air is like living through it again. But it's better to be clean than comfortable. Ha 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 God be... Come on. Alright. Unless you and Joshua have any objections, I'd like to start evacuating the sorrows. I'm going to need your help, so say your piece. I think Joshua's right. We should fight the white legs. <sighs> no. Why? Why? Haven't you seen enough of what's going on here to see that the sorrows don't need to butcher the white legs for a piece of land? What Joshua wants is more than an attack. He wants a slaughter. And he needs more than you and the dead horses to do it. The sorrows can't be pushed into this. You and Joshua don't have the right to force them into it. Please, consider what I'm saying. And you have the right to pull them off their land? I've already explained to them that we're leaving. They've accepted it. What is Joshua going to tell them about being a warrior? What are you going to tell them about how to live with themselves after they got lost in the moment? Killed someone who didn't deserve to die? Or does that not matter? Is that just an acceptable consequence if it means holding on to this valley? Maybe there is no place left in this world for mercy. But even if it tramples me into the dust, I will never accept it. And I will never condone it. Joshua must be waiting for you. I'll stay here with the others as I told them I would. Okay. Thank you for this. Hey. I know Daniel doesn't approve, but destroying the White Legs is the only way to ensure the sorrows can remain in Zion. You and I will lead a group of dead horse warriors and sorrows hunters into three Marys from this position. Our objective is to find the White Legs leader salt upon wounds and prevent him from fleeing show no quarter to the white legs we come across make no mistake about why we are here this is an extermination let's do it god be with you any fire has less than twice likely hell yeah the time for talk is past the lord's that is such a gangster line. All right. Daniel's a bit disillusioned. You can't live in the apocalypse. Then. God. That man is just a gangster. There's a reason why he is so beloved by the Fallout fan base. Really? Now back to the point yeah. Hey Joshua. 
Wait, did you have a shish kebab as well? Give it, give it, give it, give it, give it. To be fair, the second biggest army and its dictator is terrified of this man. It's for a reason. Yeah. Well, just how would you feel if you literally covered a man in tar, set him on fire, and threw him down the Grand Canyon, and he still survived? You know what I mean? The fuck? Don't try to hide from me. What's that? Who's in this barn? Him. The Avenger, Peters. Maybe I need some sleep. Where are you? I can't see you. No, but you can hear me, Peters. Uh, what do you want? I, I haven't done anything. Hey. That is a fire. Oh. I haven't committed any crime. Are you quite sure? You can't fight me, Avenger. Finish. I'm an honest man, and my conscience is clear. And you shouldn't find him. Die where you stand. Don't call for murder. God damn. All in a day's labor is serving the good Lord. Well, I didn't just. Well, I mean that is I. What do you? All right, where are you at? Where are you at? I was warned never to tell this, but I didn't count on getting mixed up in anything crooked. Do you own the land or don't you? Oh, no, no, I, I don't own it. Uh, the property's in my name and I run this farm. But uh, somebody else really owns it. All right, we got to swing around here. Uh, Dr. Milet, who lives at Seven Willows, he's the owner. But he doesn't want anybody to know it. He said I could live here rent-free as long as I pretended the place was mine. Was it Dr. Milet's idea to let mm. Yes, uh, that was part of the problem. All right, where are you at? Oh. I was to let the Gimpies camp here until he told me to drive them off. They've been here for almost a year now. I don't think they'll want to stay much longer, sir. Well, I'll be out on my ear now, too. Say nothing of this, and you will be protected. You have aided justice, Peters. But remember, you must say nothing of this encounter with the Avenger. Oh. How good's my aim? <laughs> wow! <laughs> Just call me Captain Longshaw, baby. What the? F That's ridiculous. Uh, what? Oh, hi. Got him. Close quarters bazooka. Yeah, no, uh, that, uh, 50, uh, BG, uh, that 50, that 50 cal I'm shooting? Yeah, that's explosive rounds, by the way. Bye. Oh, thanks for coming out to say hi. <laughs> hey, Joshua. That was 
That was disgusting. Thanks, Joshua. Dear God, yeah. That is disgusting. Okay, well, I'm also using explosive rounds. of death you say uh, that's Janina's tent Fern I'll wait here while you go inside you know what to do mm. yes Jenny this would only take a minute Madame Janina Madame Janina may I come inside yes come oh did you what you want now they're but here Thanks, Joshua. Probably gonna hit level 30 after this freaking DLC. Okay, I'm gonna have to go all the way around. When we come to that big pine tree, just before we reach the place where those other cars went over the cliff, I'm to jump out of the car. I'll stay with the car a moment longer and then follow you. We'll be sure to jump in time, Jim. Otherwise, when you jump out, keep well off the road so no one can see you. Open the car door, Fern. Okay, Fern. Anyone else? Oh, hi. I'm just atomizing these people. Good God. I'll see if you're threatening to kill Daniel, Joshua will fly as you are Daniel or any of the dead horses. I will find you, God willing, you will not leave this valley. Yeah. If you uh, actually fuck with them. Hey, Nicole. Welcome in. If you actually hurt him and you, like, leave, he, won't he actually legitimately come hunt you down in the wasteland? Welcome in, Nicole. Hope you're doing well. We are just at the end of Honest Hearts. Yeah, and he's almost possible to kill. He can see through your sneak and stealth voice. Yeah, from what I remember, he, literally, you are the reason he comes back to the wasteland. No, that's cut content, sadly. Oh. 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 
I literally just about clipped him. I guess it's really time. What do you want to know? Well, Old World well, Blues is so soon. It's the best DLC. Really? I honestly, I really enjoy Honest Hearts. Okay. One of her cousins did, and paid John Myla to get rid of Helen, so the fortune would be divided okay. among the remaining relatives. We basically just got to march through here. The gypsies were the mysterious angle in the case, Fern. Actually, though, they had nothing to do with the murder. They didn't? No. Dr. Myla had the gypsies on that hall, and he had an excuse to send his victim out on that deserted road. And while his victim visited the gypsy, Myla laid his trap. All in a day's labor serving the good lord. <laughs> Honest Hearts is kind of forgettable to me. It's not the worst, but it's not my favorite. Honestly, you know what I think Honest Hearts is just for? This dude. Legitimately. This is taking too long. We can't let salt upon wounds escape. I'm going to find a way around. God willing, we will finish this together. I think I owe you an apology. Okay. See you, Joshua. Those really were coins of death. Oh, they... Sons of bitches. Can I climb over this? No, we got an invisible wall. Used in the Avenger program are fictitious. Any similarity to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. This is a boss. A boss. A boss. Remember, listen for another adventure of the Avenger. Okay. We should add more side content. That's fair. And three. Go. At least I'm going to have some shish kebabs for Veronica. does more damage with unarmed weapons than melee. Uh, what's, what's considered an unarmed weapon? 
like power fists and like claws and shit. Good on you. The doctor limits his service to the very rich. Mr. Brennan, can you help me? Can you get John out of White Ridge? Well, I'll certainly look into the matter, Miss Wiley. Where can I get in touch with you? I've taken a little Ooh. road just west of White Ridge to be near John. 1215 Larkspur Road. The telephone is Larkspur 9000. Thank you. I'll call okay. you the moment I have anything to report. Oh, I don't know how to thank you, Mr. Brennan. Well, never mind, Miss Wiley, and don't worry. If John Martin is sane, he'll be released. And the law will take care of everything else. All right. Uh, that must be White Ridge, just ahead there, Fern. That big house on the hill surrounds You can know nothing for me. What? Bravo! Oh, not the sun, anyway. Oh, here's the doctor. Jim, Hello. Oh, you finally noticed me. Good job. Alright, fuck it. I tried to be silly. The fact your head stayed attached is actually you're luckier than most. Congratulations. Oh, Mr. Brandon, this is John Martin, Master. Dr. Palpo? Yes? Well, this is a matter of extreme importance, Doctor. I must see John Martin at once. Are you a relative? Well, as a matter of fact, no, I'm not. Your visit is out of the question. We observe Richard's right. 
the veranda. Complete rest and quiet has been prescribed for Mr. Martin. I suppose Tobias Martin's permission is required in order to keep Dr. That Wilson. is correct, except for the regular visiting hour on Sunday. I understand. Good day. Good day. Okay, can I get up there? That is very interesting one, Watch. Hmm. That Miss Riley could now be... John Martin and his visitor, to me, one. I know what he says. He has yes. just said when he brought me here that I'm not from poor school. Uh, all right. Where is his brother and story? John Martin is in my care. Now let me deal with him in my own way. Go to the kitchen now. Our patients will be wanting their lunch. Damn. Yes, the hospital is shivering to him. That place is fortified with regulations, sir. Well, what do we do now? Call on Tobias? Oh, not yet. Let's drive down the road to Miss Riley's place. I want to ask her a few more questions. Jim, do you suppose that Dr. Falco could be a phony? Well, no, sir. Not in the usual sense, anyway. He's a nice guy. Oh, he's not the phony. Hey. He's been specializing in psychiatric cases and unusual nerve disorders for the past ten years. There's always the chance, though, that he may turn unscrupulous. In Jim Falco's case, there's a lot of money at stake. Now, Fern, don't jump the hurdles before we come back. God, explosive ammo. Fortunately, you have to leave. Got to charge your phone. Thank you. I don't know. They wouldn't even let me inside the place. But you can never hear the police. You could have forced them to let you see. Yes, but I understood you wanted this matter handled quietly. Okay, there we go. You know, there is one way you could talk to John without their knowing it. Oh, what's that? Well, the patient's rooms are all on the second floor in the back of the house. John's room is the one right next to the fire oh. escape. After dark, you could climb up there and talk to the bars without We warned you at Syracuse. That sounds like a good idea. And you persisted. Yes. Yeah. You I took advantage of us at New Canaan time. to drive us out. Thanks, Miss Wiley. And like the dogs of Caesar you are, you followed us to Zion. And now you stand on holy ground, a temple to God's That's glory on earth. Story, Mr. Brandon. The when only use for an animal in our temple exposed, is sacrifice. You see, Kale Wachene Conserva was able to collect the dividends you understand all my holdings. me, don't you? Do you think Tobias and Dr. Falco were in this thing you? together then? Well, what else? Altman, Kunaman, mad. He kill all white legs. You talk. You stop. Buzz. Him hear you. You talk. Don't listen to this thing. His cries are those of a mad beast caught in a thicket. He gave no mercy to my family, and I will give none to his. Let him keep his dignity. Give him a fighting chance. He never had any dignity to begin with. None of them did. But for your sake, for the sorrow's sake, I'll let him die on his feet. Stand up and look at what's come for you. Your day, your day. Sometimes I think this Dr. Falco is really trying to drive me mad. You can. Wow. You know, nah, let's have some fun. Uh, let's see what we got. In other words, you pronounced him dangerously insane and recommended his commitment here at White Ridge for treatment. Yes. I am sure that any reputable psychiatrist would agree with Oh, nice, Joshua Graham. By the way, sup? Hey, Crusader. Then you won't mind if we take a look at your records, Doctor. My records, Mr. Graham. Yes. Also, the commitment papers bearing the signature of Tobias Martin. Oh, of course. You have to leave those things in hand in the proper manner. You, you will not find any irregularities here as I did. The papers, please. Uh, they're in a safe in the adjoining room. <laughs> Ah, 
Hi. Give me that, give me that. It's the same end he would have met if he had died on his knees. But I suppose this was for the sake of the dead horses and sorrows. Still, thanks to your help and the grace of God, the white legs won't be troubling Zion anymore. Let's go find Daniel. Tomorrow we'll be here soon enough. And there is much to do. Okay. Seventy. Actually, max that out. And boop. All right. All right. What do we want to throw off? You know. Okay. I'm Inspector White. This is Jim Brand. I'm putting my strength up to eight so I can use basically my web my uh And so it was that the conflict between the new Canaanites and the White Legs was finally resolved. The courier's involvement had tipped the scale, shifting the fragile balance of power. Despite their defeat at Three Marys and the death of their war chief, the White Legs were determined to pursue the other new Canaanites. But when they finally tracked down their prey in Colorado, they discovered the tables had been turned. The White Legs who survived the new Canaanites' ambushes were hunted down by dead horses before they could reach the safety of the Great Salt Lake. When word of the White Legs' diminished numbers reached the Aiden's tribe, war was declared. And by year's end, the white legs had been wiped out. <laughs> the sorrows fought beside Joshua Graham and the dead horses, eradicating the threat the white legs posed to Zion. When the courier and Joshua Graham felled salt upon wounds, their victory was celebrated with a great feast. Hell yeah. The sorrows transformation from a peaceful, timid tribe into a proud and warlike people broke Daniel's heart. He tried to take solace in the knowledge that they would remain in Zion, but it was a small comfort. The sorrow's innocence was lost. Well, it was either that or they die. Eradicate the white legs from Zion. The dead horses returned to Dead Horse Point in triumph. They remained neutral toward the sorrows, but as years went on, there were periods of competitive friction, even violence between the tribes. The new Canaanites. Daniel especially, intervened regularly as mediators, but found it difficult to reconcile the tribe's conflicts. The defeat of the White Legs and Zion marked a turning point in the fortunes of the Happy Trails Caravan Company. Every two months, the caravan met with the new Canaanites in Zion Valley to trade. Happy Trails soon returned to prosperity. The vigilance of the sorrows and dead horses in defending southwestern Utah Initially startling to Happy Trails caravans, soon proved a blessing. The tribes united against the 80s, driving them back from Highway 50, and thus opening yet another trading route for Happy Trails caravans. Hey. Though the courier had stopped Joshua Graham from executing salt upon wounds, the war chief still fell in battle. The White Legs defeated at Three Marys. Joshua led the sorrows and dead horses in tending to their comrades and burning the corpses of their foes. He continued to advocate militant opposition to the enemies of New Canaan and showed little quarter to those he fought. And yet he was changed. He no longer reveled in the brutality and cruelty for which he had been known in his former life. His inner demons, if not extinguished, were at the least 
For years after the defeat of the White Legs, Daniel did his best to minister to the Sorrow's spiritual needs. Try as he might, he could not hold back the tribe's increasing militancy and reverence in Joshua Grimm. Demoralized, he returned to his family and Dead Horse Point. His failures haunted him for the rest of his days. And with that, the courier walked out of the history of the tribes of Zion and back to the gathering storm of the Mojave Wasteland.